Hello everybody, welcome to our How Do We Do It series, uh, in which we take a question from a customer and then present it to, uh, to you, our audience. So uh, Yvonne, you had an interesting question from a customer, can you please explain? Yeah, hello uh, Igor, so we got this question from this customer that he's selling software and hardware products in SLAs. So he basically wants to group these products by product families. He doesn't want to he, he doesn't want to see the flat list, but he wants to see the hardware products, software products, uh, installation, support and so on. Yeah, okay, totally understand. That's perfectly possible. But how do we do it? So we want to see an overview of all of our products, but grouped by the product family they belong to. This video shows an example of product family, but actually you can group just by any fields um, that you want in your in your uh, in your system, of course. So we have in our case a couple of products, and they all have a product family. If you go and look into uh, the products that we have, that's this overview, and we see that we have a product, of course, with a product family of, <clears throat> and the product family is of course linked to the product that's on our opportunity product. So when we look at the family, we see that it's hardware. So we have products, this is hardware, this is hardware, this is other, this is other, and this is software. So what we want, of course, is this grouping, uh, as we see here in this uh, Excel sheet, uh, all of the products of hardware we want to see linked to a group together, all of the products of software we want to see grouped together, and so on. Okay, how do we go about that? So the first step is, let's first get our product families. All the product families that we need, of course, the product families that are linked to the products that are in our uh, shopping baskets or in our product uh, opportunity products. Uh, how do we do that? Well, we create what we call a uh, data source. And this data source, we actually have to uh, write ourselves the query this time. Um, we cannot use the Sokol Builder, but uh, I will explain you what is the, uh, the items here in this query. So in this query, I'm gonna copy it and I'm just gonna uh, run it inside the, uh, yeah, uh, just gonna run it and then look at the data. So of course we now need a certain record, so I can just go to my, to my opportunity and replace the record ID in my Sokol uh, to actually run it and see what my data will look like. As you can see here, I have hardware, software and other. What we do in this query, of course, we select uh, all of the products from opportunity line item. Uh, they have to be linked to our opportunity. So the opportunity ID has to be the opportunity, the, uh, opportunity identifier. And then we do a group by, by the uh, family. So we group by product family, making sure that only one uh, uh, row of for every product family is in there. Even if there are multiple um, products in the uh, uh, product line item, uh, with the same product family, we don't care about it. It will, because of the group by, it will show only one of them. Um, very important, what you see here is, well, I select the field product2.family, but because this is a group by, I can give an alias, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm giving an alias a family. If you want to read more on how to prov uh, provide aliases to uh, Sokol queries, well, there is a lot of information available online. So here you see the same thing that uh, the name N is uh, the alias N and the uh, max is the uh, alias max. So please read about it online. This is how you run it. Okay, so this is my data. So uh, it has all of the product families. Now, what I want to generate under this data source is actually a child data source. And I've already created one. You can just click a new one here. I already created one. And as you can see, I created it with the Sokol Builder. So that's uh, very easy. You can just create it with the Sokol Builder. And of course, I take the opportunity products again from the opportunity line items. And of course, to, uh, they have to be linked to my opportunity ID. 
Now, how does it know that any of these records belong to a certain um, a certain product family? So product one should link to uh, the hardware product family. That we do by the grouping fields. So we say that the grouping field, that this one here, yeah, has to be the same as the parent, uh, as the field in the parent. So when we look in the parent, yeah, we know that it's going to be hardware because this is the field name, yeah, family, that's the alternative that I've given, uh, the alias, sorry, that I've given, and the field value is hardware. So I know now that uh, any uh, any pro uh, opportunity line items with the product family uh, hardware will be automatically linked to that parent record because this is the overview of the settings. If you have any questions on that, uh, do not hesitate to contact us at support at pdfbutter.com with your questions and we're happy to help, of course. Now we have our data. So we have our parents giving all the uh, product families and we have our uh, yeah, our products uh, that we have giving all the information that we want to put in our document. Next step is indeed we need a doc config. So let's take a look at the doc config that we uh, that I've provided for this one. Okay, everybody knows how to create a doc config, so I'm not going to show that here. And my doc config, uh, I've already opened it, has of course some kind of a uh, configuration. You will see here that my two data sources are there. So that's the uh, product families. And if you see here, this alias family is right here. That's the one I can use to uh, give the overview of the, uh, the data. And then of course, as a child data source, we have all of our products that are linked to the families. And this uh, uh, information is also right here. So we know that this family from the parent, the family field has to match the product to that family field on the child data source. Okay, that's that. Now, before we dive into the configuration, let's take a look at the document. I've provided, uh, and you will be able to download that, an example document right here. And uh, this document actually has two sets of tables. So we are going to repeat a table for every product family we are meeting. If you want to repeat it as a table or a table row, that doesn't really matter, both will work, but here in this example, we will repeat it as a table. So I have a table, an outer table, uh, uh, with the product family. On my table, I have uh, uh, decided to show uh, the grid lines because my table, my outer table, I did the configuration to make sure that it has no borders. So I set the borders to zero. So you don't even see that there is a table in the overview. Next to that, I made sure that all the cell margins, left and right, up, uh, top and bottom, are zero. So actually, the table isn't there when we uh, create the, uh, the uh, resulting document. In that table, I've created another table that shows all of our products that are in this product family. As you can see, this is normal a normal uh, table, and this table has a width of 100%, so it will fit nicely into the outer table. Now, what we're going to do for every product linked to this product family, we're going to repeat this row so that this row will uh, show every product and the information on that product. Let's go back to the configuration because it resembles exactly what I just said. First, we have a table a table config type, and this table config type, it, fa uh, it works on the data source product families. Yeah. Um, I put it to single spacing. Yeah, you can decide if you want to have a new page or whatever. Yeah. Um, I said that I don't want to remove the merge field because I'm actually going to reuse that merge field to print out the actual product family. So I'm not going to remove the merge field. I'm going to reuse it. Um, so this table will repeat every time this entire outer table this one hola this one yeah, for every product family in my overview we know that in our overview we have hardware software and other product families so we expect three uh, three times that this uh, table is replicated okay cool we have that 
Now, next line is we want to print out our product family. So I have created a single on the merge field product family. And of course, it's going to print out the product family. Okay, that's uh, what we normally do. You can just search that on the table config type uh, in the academy. Now, next up, we want to actually repeat the row, this row here of the inner table for every product that's linked uh, that we have been buying uh, that's linked to our product family. So the system will do that automatically because of these uh, data sources that are uh, that are linked. But we have to create as a child of this table so just by clicking this plus button here. Uh, we have to create a table row config type. It's not linked to the parent data source, but it's actually linked to the uh, new data source for uh, the grouping of all the products. Yeah, uh, so that's the child of this one here. The merge fields, we can select any merge field we want here. So I'm actually gonna uh, select the first merge field in the row that I can that I, that I find, and then I'm just gonna take all this uh, uh, table table row product name products. Okay, cool. Just like that. That's all we need. So I'm gonna. Um, this one that's not required anymore. So now I have all of my products, my table row. I'm going to repeat my table for every product family. So let's save this. Okay, the configuration is done. Now let's uh, test it and see that it actually works. So I have already prepared the, uh, the box here. So if I click this box, it's, I would expect a document with three uh, product families. Exactly. Uh, I have hardware. I have software and I have other uh, because these are the products that are uh, yeah these are the three product families I have in my uh, in my overview of products right here and now of course what you see is that we are repeating the rows but not filling the information yet on the row so we are repeating this row so that looks just fine uh, three products on hardware one product on software and two products on other so. I think that would uh, be correct, but now I want actually want to see the product names. So next step is very easy. Uh, I'm just going to go to this table row, click the plus, and I'm going to start filling in the uh, the single merge fields. Huh? They are linked to the parent data source. That's where the data is coming from. I'm going to take the product name and the merge fields. Huh? I'm just going to paste it, and of course. Everybody knows how to do this. So I'm going to take the quantity. The quantity is going to be a number um, field, if everything is uh, correct. Oh, that's not a quantity. I'm going to go for a custom formatting. And I'm going to use this one. This, so this one says, yeah, I want a 1,000 separators, but I don't want any, um, uh, any decimal numbers. So uh, that's what I'm going to take. And then, OK. That's done. And the last field here is product total price. So that's a currency. And also there, I'm going to put in some uh, formatting because yeah, it's a currency. The system will automatically know what kind of formatting that I want to do there. So, and I'm going to now take the total price. Configuration is all done. This is how it uh, looks. So I have my table that I'm going to repeat for every product family. I'm going to print out my product family, and then I'm going to repeat every product that's linked to my product family. So this will be exactly what I want in my overview. Let's regenerate this document. Oh yeah, it looks exactly as I intended to. So I have my hardware products. All of my hardware products have my software all of my software products and I have uh, my other products. As you can see, these are my other products. So now I'm grouping by a product family and uh, giving a nice overview per product family of all of the products that I've been buying.